Hi, it's Achim from Inner Space Explorers and... Aaron from Inner Space Explorers. I'm back! Yeah, I promised you it was the last video and he's gone, but he's still I here. Just, I just <laughs> stick around like a bad smell, so you can't get rid of me yet. So we are back in Amsterdam. Um, you may remember we had a couple of videos that we did last time we were here. Yep, during uh, the BOE course, yep. Yeah. So now we're doing level one and... Uh, yeah, so actually this topic came up today in some of the lectures. Uh, that Akin was giving and he mentioned uh, the spiral of death which was quite intriguing <laughs> and so yeah I just thought that maybe we could talk a little bit about that I think it's quite important I think most of us divers have experienced it in one form or another and yeah maybe we can just elaborate on that what is that and yeah go from there yeah yeah I hope not so many have experienced the spiral of death <laughs> it's probably a very strong term but uh, gets the point across yeah, it, it describes um, probably the reason why ISE trains the way we do. I mean, yeah. um, especially the level one class is the the idea is to figure out if somebody is good for that or not. I mean, in a psychological way and in a physical way, um, if you can handle issues underwater, if you can solve them underwater, if you stay relaxed or not. And obviously the focus on all of this is to be able to recognize a problem and then immediately respond and solve it to prevent that spiral from happening. So basically to cut it, boom, done. Yep. And I think we had a great example today on the water. Yes, yes, we did. In that training scenario, um, there was this one person going out of gas, going to the partner, they were on a line, so partner responded, then suddenly that reel and the line, mm -hmm, the third guy in the team did not really respond. It was like, mm -hmm, okay, two people without it. So, well, no gas, I'll just stick back a little bit. Instead of going in there and taking the line over, taking responsibility, I mean, the old concept, three people in a team, one has a problem, one solves the problem, third, team, uh, third person takes over responsibility and gets the team out. So suddenly what happened from that just being out of gas, now that buddy team tried to get out of that scenario, but they had like, I mean, donated, body contact, but then suddenly that reel and as that third person basically did not go in there, they suddenly started struggling with the reel, which then led to stress. You could see it was more hectic. They actually drifted a little bit. They took the line with them. Then at some point the stress was so high that they just pushed the reel away, which then obviously Murphy, me, uh, <laughs> came in and took that line and then they got entangled and then it was, yeah, basically in, in, in real life that would have been it, I guess. Completely. And that's a great example for that spiral. There's one little incident which was this person at that moment couldn't breathe out of gas, which in reality, meh, it takes a lot to be out of gas actually. A lot of things that had to go wrong before, but I mean, basically it's not the big deal. Okay, well, I don't have any gas partner donates yeah done but I mean then as there were more things adding on that and that created stress and then it got worse and worse and worse and other things started to come on top of that yeah and that in in a real world scenario would have actually yeah most probably created a maybe um, level yeah. issue which I know we've, you've also talked a bit on this channel about before, but a lot of that really does come down to just comfort in the water, right? You know, being yeah. comfortable, being experienced, being confident in what you're doing and your skills and everything, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, actually, you may remember that video, with Comfort in the Water. If not, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I mean, the, the example that I just had from the, from the class today is obviously relatively extreme. I mean, how many divers in their diving career ever experienced somebody being out of gas? Fortunately, not too many. But that discomfort thing is a huge one. How many divers do you see that come up from a dive, especially if you go on a liverboard or somewhere where you have a lot of recreational divers around? Yeah. Um, that the first thing, they, the head's not really out of the water. They rip that mask off and spit out that regulator. You're like, why? Yeah. that's not comfortable yeah well then probably diving is not for you um yeah or you just got shitty training yeah so that discomfort thing and i've seen literally people that had like a, a mouthpiece that was bitten through or something like that was sucking in a little bit of water that 
get a real issue out of that. So it, you get a little bit of water with every breath and then you get the feeling you can't probably breathe. Then you flood your mask and suddenly there's panic. They shoot to the surface. They run into a decompression or overpressure lungs. Get, I mean, the possibilities are endless and that all got triggered by a little bit of discomfort. And that's why I probably also hammer a lot on that comfort thing. Yeah. But that's something we start actually in our recreational program from yeah. the very, very beginning. I want people to be comfortable underwater breathing from a variety of things, creating that so-called discomfort, but in a, in a, in a very, um, yeah, basically playing around, like in a pool, for example. Yeah. Like, I mean, you've, you've, yeah. you've been there with, with me, um, like a lot of stuff is out of mask from the very beginning. So to realize this is not something you need to dive. That's just a comfort article, as I tend to say. So yeah. Why do you need a mask? I mean, yeah, you see better, but I mean, it doesn't prevent you from breathing underwater and, and stay alive. Yeah. And um, yeah, breathe from a regulator without a mouthpiece. Breathe just from a hose. Be I mean, yeah, look at the video and you get an idea of what I'm talking about. And if that's implemented in training at an early stage, that obviously creates a very comfortable diver. Completely. I've been asked a lot of times like, why do you not understand that I have an issue? And I was like, yeah, oh, good question. But I started as a kid and I can remember like my very, very first dive, I was sitting in the, in like a rainwater collecting barrel that our neighbors had. And I was breathing from a hose that my friend actually was on a, on a pump that you used to pump up a bicycle because we saw that in a movie from Hans Haas yeah. where they were actually in a river with like this, this uh, copper head. Uh, this 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 copper bowl yeah. over the head and just walking around there in the room. I was like, oh cool, let's try that as well. <laughs> so obviously that was pretty smelly air, a bit yeah. of oil probably, and and obviously not a lot, but that's the way it started. And I, I mean, my very first regulator um, was one that was meant to be um, screwed in a in a full face mask from the firefighter, so it didn't have a mouthpiece at all. So I was just like trying to hold this round tube in in my mouth. Yeah. I think I dove this thing for two years or so. Yeah. And obviously that hard way of learning then today a mouthpiece that doesn't fit properly, oh well as long as it produces air at some point, well fine for me. And um I think that got lost a little bit in, in today's training. Make it easier yeah. and easier and, and shorter and more comfortable for everybody. So yeah, yeah, no worry. Nothing can happen. Yeah, yeah. It's all fun. Yeah. I don't think that that supports no, that's, the diver that, uh, that's, long term. That's very true. I mean, when I used to be in the, in the military and we always had a saying, you want to train hard so you fight easy. Yeah. And I think ISC really takes that mentality and that approach, which I really appreciate. And I think anyone should be able to appreciate because it's one thing having all of this happen in five meters of water where if something really goes wrong okay you can pop up to the surface and nothing is really going to happen you can handle it and deal with it like that but if that happens when you're on 80 meters 100 meters or something like that and all of a sudden you find out oh i don't know how to handle this situation that i'm in not good yeah, I mean, that's what, what I say usually on the first day of the class. If the output of that training is that this is not for you, that may save your life. Yeah. Because, I mean, what does it help if you trade your Visa card for a Trimix card or whatever, yeah. and then you figure out in real world, oh, this is not for me. You probably want to figure that out in three meters of water with a professional next to you. Completely. In a safe environment, and uh, then do something else. Yeah, completely. I mean, being trained to be a thinking diver and to be a safe diver, I, I think that's really great. And uh, yeah, anything else to cover on uh, this topic? No, I hope that actually explains it a little bit and yeah. probably makes people think a little bit. Hope so. Thank you very much, Aaron. Welcome. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit that little notification bell. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thanks for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Also, as you can see, just quickly, we are both in some ISE hoodies here. Oh, yeah. And so these are actually available. I mean, this is a size large on me. It fits pretty well. I'm about 186 or so. So just to give you a bit of an idea, really clean design. Also has the logo on the back. You look better from the back then. <laughs> ah, thanks, mate. Uh, so yeah, if you want to support the channel, support ISE, then yeah, feel free to grab some. Fun in the shop underneath. Completely. That video. Thanks, man. No worries. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.